some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Got some breaking news from the grapevine. As Elmo was arrested at pump, arriving back from Saipan. And I can definitely confirm by looking at the video that it is As Elmo himself. Now, as for the reason, I have no idea, but I'm sure we'll find out in time. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... We follow Creepy Dave, otherwise known as Good Guy Audits, as attempts to audit a probation office only to get booted out. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's your boy Good Guy Audits. We back at it again in Harlem. Oh, excuse me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. How are you today? How are you doing? Hello, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you yourself. Yes. Good. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Can I help you? Hi. How are you? How are you? Um, I'm trying to see what services you offer here. Who are you looking for? I'm trying to see what services you offer here. Who are you looking for? Hey, hey, hey. You should get yourself a better camera, dude. You can barely hear anybody else but yourself. Man, what services do you offer to the public here? I can't really get into it. Huh? I can't really get into it. Is there like somebody I can speak to about receiving services? Hello? Do you have a pamphlet? Huh? Like a pamphlet? Is there like a supervisor I could speak to? I want to speak to your Hi. No. You work here? No. No? She doesn't yeah. work here. I'm trying to get some public information. Okay. I'm just being ignored. Excuse me. Oh, the, pro the probation's here, right? Yes. Uh, now I remember. That's why I came here, because the pro oh. yeah. probation right. department is here. I remember why I came here. I came here to, to see the, the probation department. I've asked this question a number of times when it comes to probation office audits. Why the hell would you want to audit a probation office anyway? Is it because you want to find out what probation is like when you eventually end up on it? Yeah, but I couldn't remember. You couldn't remember? No, I got a bad memory. Um, could you just set aside and let us deal with the... You're dealing with me. I'm here. I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Right? I want to go oh. to the probation department. So do you have an appointment for probation? Yeah. That's, that, that's, I, I do not like that stuff that you had in my face. It's okay. I, I, 
You see what the you see what that sign says? Mm -hmm. You're on camera all day long. Right? Ma'am, I'm not here for you. I'm here to see the probation department. Uh, you have to have an appointment to go upstairs. And if you have an appointment, could you call them to come downstairs for you to call the police? Is, that a, is it like a probation department where people that are on probation go? Mm -hmm. So if I needed to speak to my yeah. probation officer, I can't come and walk in? No, you can't walk in like that. So Why not? So it's not an actual probation office. Yeah, the probation office is here. Which is open to the public. Yeah. I'm the public. I want to go there. No, you cannot go there like that, sir. You're not, you're not listening. That's what I'm asking you. So you have an appointment for probation? Do I need an appointment? Yeah, you need an appointment because you are not here to see a PO. How do you know? Because you don't need a family name of the PO. Why would I tell you that? I want to go to the probation office. It's a public office. Uh, no. The probation office is not a public office. You usually need an appointment to get in, and you have to be on probation. In order to be on probation, you have to commit a crime, go to court, and get that sentence. But I'm sure this fraud can't be that stupid, can he? Well, unfortunately, I've seen a lot dumber in my years. You go ahead. I was making a video and I, came, and I said, I can't remember what this building is. I know I had it in my, in my maps for a while. No, I don't, ma'am. No, I don't. Did you ask my permission to record me? Yeah, you are. This building is recording everybody that comes in. Really? There's signs everywhere saying that you're being recorded. Essentially, when you walked in the door, that's giving your permission to be recorded, knowing that you're going to be recorded. So, miss, you basically just proved that you don't need an appointment to go see probation. Those people with the pizzas didn't have a, they don't have a, not staff here. They're staff for the hospital, they said. They don't work for, those aren't probation officers. Sir. What I'm saying is that's a public office. No, sir, I'm not feeling comfortable you me. And I would have been out here. I want to go to probation officers so I could be on my way. No, but I told you, you had to tell me who is your PO. You don't tell me who is your That's PO. a public office. I'm not on probation. That's a public office. I want to get public information. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. To go into a public, it's no. public. No, when I do that, I'll get in trouble. Okay? So call them, tell them that you have some, a member of the public. No, you have to call them. I, I, can't, I, I don't have numbers for upstairs. You can just show me to the, the probation office. I go, I get my information, and then I leave. I don't want to say what the big deal is. It's the public office. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Hi. Hi. Do you work for the probation department? Yeah. I'm trying to go. It's the public office, correct? Okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get, get public information. There's pamphlets, this information that you have mm -hmm. available to the public. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, uh, we don't have anything available now. I mean, pamphlets. It's the public lobby, right? The public's allowed to be there. I'm, I'm doing a story on probation, uh -huh. and that's a public lobby. I'm the public, and I would like to enter that lobby. Okay, hold, okay. you stay right here. Let me try to get somebody. Where am I going to go? Stay right here. If you get your supervisor, please. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, you? I'm grateful. I explained it to her many times why I'm here. Okay, explain it to me. What's your name, sir? Explain it to me. You don't need your name to explain it to So... And this is probably the last time I'm gonna do it. The probation office is a public. It's a public office. They deal with the public, right? It's a no, public no, lobby. I, I oh my God! Seriously, dude, what is so hard to understand about that? They don't 
deal with the general public. They deal with people who've been put on probation by court orders. You can call them. That's fine. I'm trying to enter a public lobby. The, the probation department, New York probation department. You can't see them. Look. Not just like that. You gotta have. Look, your friends. Are, what up? Your friends are here. Hello. How are you? Hello, sir. I'm grateful. Can I get your name and badge numbers, please? Yes, of course. Big night, 22459. Nice to meet you. How are you? So, what, what's up? What's going on here? They called you? Yes. Yes. Did you speak to them? Mm -hmm. Yes. What they said? They told us that you're going to court and you're going to have to leave the building. That I don't have business in the building? I do have business in the building. What's going on? What are you going to do? I want to go to the probation department. I want to go to the probation department. Is it not? Is it not a public lobby? I spoke to a probation officer. She said that, you know, the probation department is open to the public. They service the public. There's information. Are you sure. going to talk to your PO? It's usually by appointment only. Yeah. Sir, the it's probation. Not a precinct. It's not a it has a public lobby where they have public information where the public could come about, uh, and gather like, like a pro. Precinct. No. I can't go inside of you know you, so you know. You go up now? Yeah, I want to go to the. Go up? Yeah. Ask them if you can. I mean, that's their rules. We don't know. Whose rules? The people in the front. That delegate what people. Like the, the, they, wait, the waiting area would generally yeah. be like this. Do you know? There's a there's a lobby in the probation department. No, yeah, but it's a, it's, it's a multi-use building, so it's for right. right. So that's a public agency. So the area sits here. They know where and what the rules are, so we're gonna ask. It's a public agency. Am I right? The oh, probation okay. department? But you have to have business here. So I'm gonna ask them I just I just stayed in my business. Pathetic. The question is is the probation office a public office? It is. I, I know the answer. It is. So if there was no rules that we couldn't record in precincts, right? Because there is a rule in New York, only the five boroughs that we can't record inside the precincts, right? Would the public be able to go inside the precinct and gather information? The public can go and whatever question you right? ask, we can give it. It's the same so thing, it's the same thing with the probation no, office. No, she said it's a court mandated thing. They have to have, you know, appointments and stuff. That's what she told me. It's a court mandate, so... So the people that have mandated dates to go, go upstairs to see the probation officer. It's not like a public space, right? Public oh, public so they don't have a lobby at all. Um, since most, most, if not all, probation officers have a lobby where they have everybody sit, and they have public information. Probably because of the, probably because of the way the building is. They don't. So if they had their, uh, so if they had their own building, they probably would have their own lobby. So I've never been here. I've searched it. Oh, the probation's here. I want to go get some information. Like, so what I do is I. You would have to set an appointment with, you know, parole. But you, or you're saying that there's, you're saying that there's no lobby there. No, because that's not a, a. It's not like a precinct. Precincts have lobbies and places like that. It's more of a private. You understand? You understand my thought process, though, right? Like. You ever you ever been to the one in one six one? The probation office in one six one. It's right across from the bookings. It might be different, that one. There's a lobby there yeah. where the people sit. Most buildings have lobbies, with a, especially because they service the public. Jeez, dude. Most buildings have freaking lobbies in them. That doesn't mean they're open to the public. For example, I used to work for CSG. The building had a lobby in it, but the building was not open to the general public. It was only open to employees. You know what I mean? So I'm the public. If I want to go gather public information, which I'm allowed to, right? So I'm right to. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, I searched Manhattan. I went to the Bronx one. You've seen the Bronx one already, right? I've been to the Bronx right, one. So find you in Manhattan. We're in Manhattan, right? But this location specifically. It's oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because there's the school kids walking around. Like so that. what? Um, let me not block the way. I'm gonna gather. I'm gonna get. Um, is there a reason why you're blocking me? Because you can't. You're not walking in. Why not? And they don't want you inside. This is a public building. No, it's not, no, sir. It's, it's, not. it's public. It serves the public, but it has a purpose. Right, right. So my purpose right now is to get some no, hand sanitizer. Have, have case managers, people have school in there. 
You know what this says? Public, right? This is a public building. It's funded by the public. It's open to the public. It's public access. I need a, I need a, I need an appointment to come in this building. I need appointments to walk into this building and get free stuff. Because this is a multi-use building. This is, this is not just parole. It's still open to the public. But what, and you got to have a purpose. If only because something's open to the public. This is my purpose. I mean, they What's can't just purpose? have people walking wrong. aimlessly on the street, walking in here. The First Amendment parole. is my business. You I'm conducting to, business right now. You can say whatever you want. You want information on parole, right? I'm still, I'm still taking pictures and recording in the public areas of the building. That's my business. Right. But you know that, right? I'm not going upstairs. I'm going into that lobby, and I'm getting stuff that they have available to the public. Do you know that the First Amendment itself is official business? Did you know that? You are stretching the meaning of the First Amendment way out there. There is nowhere in the First Amendment that makes this official business. There's nowhere in there it says that you are allowed to antagonize people like this. Have you even read it, or are you just parroting what other frauditors have said? Because you're not doing it. You, you keep on trying to use these big words, but you're not doing The First it. Amendment is a big word? No, I'm not I'm saying. You're saying all something that you, information, all this Something that you swore oath purpose. to protect? No, I'm not protecting you. I do have purpose, to take pictures and, you and record. You can record anything you want. You can record anything you want. Of course. But when the person that is so why are you blocking my ear? I have to be committing a crime for you to kick me out of somewhere that's public. I'm not committing a crime. I'm actually engaged in a constitutionally protected activity that you swore to protect. This is not a park. This is not a. This is, not this is a public building. This is a public lobby. It's, it's Sir, open to the public. Can you please just? That's all there is. Have anything else going on like for the public? Like somebody that's committing a crime. I'm not committing a crime. Everything is here. Am I detained? Am I detained? We're asking you. No one's trying to detain. Am I detained? Look, I asked ask you a question. No, I'm asking you a question. I don't answer questions. Am I detained? You're not being detained. So I'm, I'm free to go. You are stopping yes, me. You are free to go. Free to go. So here. If I'm free to go, you're not free to go here. if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. I'm not detained. I'm not committing a crime. You're a law enforcement officer, not a feelings enforcer. You're talking a lot. You enforce the law. You can't be here. Is there law being broken right now? Yes. What law? How? In the public? This is open to the public, ma'am. For a purpose. I'm recording. I'm, I'm, this is business. I'm doing a story on the building. They don't want you to have a building, sir. It's open. open. Ma'am. You had a reason to be in the building. I do, ma'am. I do. To report. Yes. But you're not meeting with anybody. You're not being reasonable. All I want to do is grab some hand sanitizer, and I would have been on my way already. But you're blocking me from entering another public lobby while I'm not detained, while I'm not committing any crimes. You just enforcing feelings. You're so worried about people's feelings. We're all on camera right now. Yeah. Because they feel. And their rules and regulations. Rules don't. Their rules don't see my, my, my rights. You're bugging. It's the Constitution. It's the Constitution. They, so if they, if, they had a, if they had a policy that said no black people, you want to enforce that? Don't you even think about comparing what black people went through before the civil rights movement of the 1960s to your YouTube channel. There is no comparison to what they went through versus your YouTube channel. That's just disgusting. But it's a policy. It's a rule. There used to be rules that said that. There used to be rules that said that. It's the Constitution that you swore oaths to protect. You didn't, you didn't swear oaths to people's feelings. You swore oaths to our rights. Right now, I'm exercising my rights, and you're trying to violate my rights. It's a public lobby. It's open to the public. I'm, it's, op, it's public access. Open to the public. The public could come here. This is a public this is a lobby. Library. This is a library. It's still, it's still public access. No. But you know why? Because there's a, city, there's a city organization here, so the public has to be able to come here. You understand what I'm saying? The public has to be able to come here because there's a... So you can exactly. talk to the mayor's office and just hang out with mayor First of all, the mayor's been closed since 9-11. If you knew anything, you know that. Yeah, but you can't just go City Hall's been closed since 9-11. All right, so I'm just going to take a picture of this and then I'll leave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for his walk of shame.
Oh, you're saying the public can't stand here, right? Yeah, yeah, bugging. Anyways, I'm going to leave on my own free will. Not because y'all fucking asked me to, because I wanted to. Remember your oath to the Constitution. That's why you took the job. You didn't take the job to protect people's feelings. I'm, that's, I'm, that's a serious thing. Do you know that? You remember when you, you raised your hand and you swore your oath? You take it serious, right? All right, then, so take it serious. You see I'm engaged in a protected activity, right? So you tell him, hey, listen, he's just recording. This is open to the public. It's a public building, right? Once they open, once they open this building to a state agency, the whole building becomes public. It's no longer private because the public has to be able to come here and receive those services. You're going to say, oh, you can't, you can't receive public services because the building's private? I'm saying I have to be able to go see a probation officer because it's public. If I was on probation, I'd have to be able to go see it. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, so it's public. The whole building's public. It's a public lobby. You like really need to brush up on your law. Because if I was committing a crime, I would have been handcuffed by now. Sad. You guys are sad. Anyways. What a total idiot, imbecile, tool, moron, whatever adjective you want to use. But anyway, enjoy your walk of shame, you moron. Now get the hell out of here.